Well, hey guys, we are in the middle of the summer, and of course that means we are in the middle of mowing season. And man, we've had lots of rain this year so far, and so we are still mowing. Even though we've had temperatures up in the hundreds, uh, we're getting enough rain that everything is staying green and it's still growing pretty fast. So with that said, I have put hundreds of hours on my zero turn and I am due for an oil change and just do some routine maintenance on this thing. Uh, I am so, I have so much uh, property to keep up. I am so dependent uh, on this and so I want to make sure I keep my maintenance up so I get through the seasons well and obviously so my equipment will last a long time. So anyway guys, you know me, let's go get busy. <laughs> So a couple of things to note before you get started. Uh, one thing I like to do is I like to run the engine and get some heat in it. Uh, it does a couple of things. It thins the oil so it'll drain faster, but it also agitates the oil all through your engine. And as that oil gets hot, if there's any residues on the metals cake, you know, uh, coated on the inside of the engine, it'll pull that off and suspend that in the oil. And then when you come and go direct to a change, you'll get more of those deposits out of your engine to keep the inside of your engine cleaner. Another thing to do is uh, stop by, have all your stuff ready to go. Um, you can run by any John Deere dealership and pick these up. Now, um, all the engines take pretty much the same four cycle engine um, turf guard oil that they recommend. Um, but I keep a picture of the part number here in my phone and it just makes things faster when I go in. I tell them I have a Z950, but I also just show them the picture and say, there's the part number and they don't even have to look it up. They just grab me everything I need and I'm in and out in a flash. Okay guys, the first thing you want to do is come down here. You want to get your uh, drain pan underneath. Uh, John Deere really did a really nice job. If you look, get in here so you can see. Um, right here is the drain and they've got it fixed where all you have to do is loosen this up and the oil, they've already got a hole cut in the metal so it doesn't make a big mess and the oil will come out underneath here. So all we've got to do is loosen this and we can start our drainage process. All right, so all I did is broke it loose with the wrench and then you just start turning until the oil starts coming out. And there we go. And one thing I like to do is I like to come up here and take this out. It kind of acts like a vent and it lets the oil drain a little bit faster. So anyway, all we do now, play the waiting game and let this drain and then we'll pick up with part number two which is pulling and changing the oil filter so guys now that the oil has drained a little while the next thing is go ahead and do the oil filter this is probably the messiest part of the job because the filters on the side of the engine and i'll show you uh john deere does something kind of neat to help make it be so messy but it's still going to make a little bit of a mess so one thing to always have handy is just a good old drop cloth uh, drop towel so you can wipe it up as you're making your mess. Anyway, uh, another thing that's really great to have is uh, an oil felt wrench. Uh, man, ever since I got this, this has made life so much easier for me. So um, let me get around here and I will show you where the filter is. So as you saw here, it's a drain plug we talked about earlier. And here is the oil filter on the side. Now I have already um, used the wrench and got it loose to where I can go ahead and unscrew it. And since I've run the engine, that's really hot. So I'm gonna back the camera away and use a towel and go ahead and get this out. And what I'm gonna do, as soon as I get it out, I'm just gonna drop it down in the oil pan for now. And again, this is a messy part. Once I get everything cleaned up, and ah, that's what I did not want to do, but no wonder, no big deal. I've got my, I've got my towel here to wipe all this mess up. And here in just a second, I will show you guys what I'm talking about. And again, I have not made that big of a mess, and it's all in because of the way this thing is designed. All right, so let me bring the camera back in, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So John Deere designed, let's see if I can get this in here. So you see this is where the oil filter was and underneath here is this lip. 
And as this, you can see this oil is dripping down, it hits this, and instead of running down the side of the engine, it will come out and drop down in this area. Now it's not right over the hole, but this is kind of recessed down, so it will pull and go on out. And so it's very easy, you know, to clean up your mess afterwards. So it's a really nice thoughtful thing they did to make that a little, make it a little less messy. All right, so on the oil filters, they have this gas, this rubber gasket on the edge. And an old trick you do is you just put your finger down in the oil and you just put a thin coat around this. And what this allows to happen is it helps guarantee a better seal. But what it, what it does is it lubricates. So as you're pulling up tight, it lets that rubber gasket slide on the metal and it doesn't catch and buckle and, and mess the gasket up. Uh, besides the, the oil also helps it to seal. So anyway, all you do is come back on here. I'm gonna do one more quick wipe off. And then we spin the gasket on. There we go. And all you have to do is finger tight. So anyway, I always like to use a funnel um, just because it's kind of hard area to get into and my hand's not that steady. So this just guarantees not to make quite as big a mess. And I think this is gonna take all of both quarts. But what I'm gonna do is put a quart and a half in, then we're gonna do a test run. Uh, remembering that we, I think it takes a quart and a half, uh, but then when you do the oil filter, that's another half a quart, and that's where you get to your two. But we're gonna do about one and a half, and then we're gonna do a test run, go back and double check it, and then I'm betting we're gonna need to add the rest of it. Yep, and as I thought, we are still a little bit low, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of it in there. And now we are full, right up to the line. So that's exactly what we needed. All right, always wanna make sure you screw these down on tight. I mean, you don't have to over torque them, but I had one situation to where I didn't put it down tight enough and it actually worked its way loose. And what it was doing is it was just sitting there bouncing around and oil was coming out of the engine. And uh, it, I didn't get low, but boy, it sure made a mess. So guys, I've got a trivia question for you. We know the oil lubricates the engine, but my question is, does the oil help cool the engine? What do you think? Absolutely, it does. So the, again, especially in the summertime, here in the Mid-Atlantic area, we are going through a heat wave. I know it's all, it's hot across the country in a lot of places. By the way, I hope all you guys are doing well uh, and everything's working good at your house with the air conditioning and you guys are handling the heat okay. Uh, but obviously we still got to get outside and work in this. And so uh, lawnmower's got to be in this heat as well. And when you're talking heat indexes of over hundred degrees, uh, it's tough on these. So I would highly encourage you to make sure you keep uh, just if nothing else, keep a check on your oil and make sure it's full. Uh, if it's all the way to the top, then you got maximum capacity to help with the cooling. But as the oil ages, um, you know, you want to really consider doing your maintenance just to keep these in the best shape they can because they are an air-cooled engine. Uh, so they do well in handling all the, the, the heat that we're dealing with right now. So guys, always remember here at Project Next One, there is always one more. So lots of more videos coming, lots of projects coming up. Thanks guys for tuning in. I'll catch you on the next one and we'll see you later.